Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this 100 gram sock blank. Now this is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon in four ply. It is a double stranded sock blank. So you see here, you've got two strands of yarn knitted together. And the purpose of this is to create two identical uh, 50 gram skeins of yarn. So you can make identical socks. And then I have this 20, 50 grams of, uh, again, 75% uh, superwash merino, 25% nylon. And I'm gonna be using this uh, as my little yarn mop. Now I'm going to be speckling these with uh, two, two colors that my friend Jessica suggested, purple pop and lime pop. These are both from Dharma. So I'm going to start with, with purple pop. I have got my gloves on and my, um, my mask and my safety equipment. And I'm just going to sprinkle, speckle the dye over the sock blank. Now, purple pop is an acid dye and fiber reactive dye, and um, lime pop is a fiber reactive dye. So both of these can be used on animal fibers, such as the superwash merino. Uh, but acid can't be used on uh, plant-based fibers, such as cotton. Now these both have been soaking in uh, water and vinegar for, it's probably been a couple of hours now, but they only really need up to about 30 minutes. There we go. I think that's it. I'm happy with that purple pop. Now I've still got all this on my fingers, so I'm just going to wipe this off onto my yarn mop. Let's get all that lovely purple on here. Because look at that, otherwise I would have just washed all that dye down the sink. And there we go. So I'm going to wash my hands, make sure my hands are completely dry before I go into the lime pop. Right. This does look very yellow in powder form, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, green. I have put a lot of cling film down here just to protect my work surface. And after this, I will be steam setting these. Oh, I forgot, Lime Pop does not like to be sprinkled very easily. It, it really does stick to your fingers. And I think this one has a lot of the uh, lemon yellow in it which I remember was awful for speckling. I mean, it's a gorgeous colour, don't get me wrong, but not easy to speckle. Okay. I'm just taking little pinches and rubbing, rubbing it between my fingers. You can see where the, the powder dye, is, the yellow, well, it's sort of yellow on top and then as it dissolves it's turning to that beautiful green there we go now i think i think i'm happy with that at the moment again wipe my hands on my yarn mop let's have a look at that you can see it does turn into this beautiful green. Okay. All right, I'm going to uh, flip this over. Let's see what we've got on the other side. Trying not to move it about too much. There we go. See, some of the purple has come through, but not the lime pop. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands and go again. I'm going to go for lime pop first, this side. Okay. 
Mm. And take care by these edges that are um, curling up. I don't really want to touch it. But, okay. Now I'm making sure that my hands are clean and completely dry before uh, they go back into the pot because I don't want to contaminate the dye with my other colour and I don't want to introduce moisture which will uh, make the dye clump together and be really difficult to use. Gosh, this dye likes to stick to your fingers but <laughs> not to the yarn. Yeah, they're quite heavy with the line pop on this side just to give it a good shot because the purple pop is quite potent. I'm not hoping for super fine speckles on this. I just want to see what what I can get just sprinkling like this. I've not really experimented too much with speckles, but now I've got a steamer basket, I can speckle and steam set a lot easier than I did before. Okay. That's probably enough of the line pop. back in with the purple pop. I'm going to try and be a little bit more sparing with this because you can see a lot of the purple has come through from the other side. The powder for this is a lot finer than the lime pop. It's certainly speckling a lot easier. A bit more. I want to leave the edges out. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now is just trying to just wipe up any of the extra um, dye that I've sort of dropped. That I can see. There we go. Not a fantastic job, but never mind. Right, I'm gonna. It's my, it's my steaming basket. I'm gonna put that straight in there. And now I want to try and protect this a bit. So I'm gonna use the cling film. Oops. There we go. I'm gonna use the cling film that this was all. Oops. Um, Use this cling film just to just try and protect it. I don't want the colours mixing. There we go. Just roll it up. Just try and protect some of those colours a little bit. Yeah. Now, there's one thing I noticed in my uh, little yum mop here. Where was it? Um, oh yeah. Look. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's a tiny little speckle of blue. And there's, yeah, I mean, this looks pretty cool. So in that goes. And that's just going to go onto steam for probably about 45 minutes, maybe. And okay, everything's cooled down. And a moment of truth. Let's unwrap this. Okay. Oh. Most of the dye, there's not much dye on that. But wow, that looks amazing. Let's wash all this now. Some cool tap water. Really have to see there's no bleeding at the moment. A little bit of washing up liquid. So there might be some uh, powder dye, particularly uh, on either of these, which haven't dissolved. There we 
there. Let's get these a good washing through. I can't believe how this looks. This is just incredible. I'm really happy with this. Oh, there's a pink tinge now. That's just getting out the extra dye that um, you didn't bind to the yarn. Do this again. See if, if there's any more dye coming out. I'm not surprised about the pink because it was from Pepper Pop, which does take a very long time to set and can bleed. But I think I think that's all right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wash this through a couple more times just to be sure, and then I can hang it out to dry. And here's our finished sock blank and yarn mop. Let's have a look at this sock blank first of all. Coming close here. Um, I really like how the, you've got the green with the yellow halo around it. And then we've got, again, purple with a pink halo around it. And I think for both of these, it means that the blue has struck to the yarn quicker. And then the other one, the, the yellow and the, the, the pink and the yellow have just taken a little bit more time to strike. And then we have these tiny little specks of blue all over, which I think has come from the purple pop. I'm seeing it more with the purples than I am with the greens, but they're just everywhere. And then we've got these places where the colours have blended. And actually, we've got the pink and the yellow have blended together to make a lovely orange there as well. So we've got you know, all sorts of colours on here. And then on this side, I sort of went quite heavy with the green and lighter with the purple. And... I, yeah, I think it looks great. I mean, I'm really, really happy with this. And thank you so much, Jessica, for suggesting that I use Lime Pop and Purple Pop together. They are a fantastic combination. I love it. I'll be using it again a lot. And then we've got the yarn mop that I use to wipe my fingers on and just wipe the surface a bit. And it's sort of mainly pinky orange, but you know, we've got these lovely, this lovely bright pop of pink there, we've got lovely greens, we've got blues and purples all the way through this. Um, it's got oranges where the yellow and pinks have combined. And it's just, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely colorway. I'm really, really happy with how both of these have turned out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you've got notifications turned on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I normally publish my videos on a Monday between 6 and 8 p.m. on in UK time. And I like to experiment with different things in my videos. So one week, like this one, I might have a sock blank. Uh, next week, I might dye with some Kool-Aid. Uh, following week, uh, maybe I'm dyeing some uh, embroidery floss. I do like to experiment with different fibre types and techniques and dyes and all sorts. So in every video, there will be something different. Thank you so much for watching.